Oh, hello. Today on Going Buggy, we're talking about caterpillars. This is Will, a woolly bear caterpillar who I met at the beach last week. Hey, you folks! Will is going to explain to us a little about the life cycle of a Lepidopteran larva. A what? A, a butterfly or a moth caterpillar. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, it all started when my mom laid an egg on a plant. Butterfly and moth moms lay eggs on plants they know their kids will want to eat. It'd be like your mom dropping you in a pile of mashed potatoes when you were a baby. Hey, is that an Irish joke? Actually, that does sound pretty good. After a few weeks, or when it gets warm enough, the eggs hatch, and the baby caterpillars come out. The first thing most caterpillars do after they hatch is eat their own egg. They do? Ew, that's a little gross, isn't it? No, it's full of protein. Look, maybe I should explain from here on. Suit yourself, human. Okay, when caterpillars are first born, they're really small. Like this one I found near Stratford Pond. Or this one that fell into my hoodie when I was walking in the woods. Most caterpillars get a lot bigger as they grow up. But some, like this inchworm, will stay tiny until it changes into a moth. Hey, who are you calling tiny? The name's Big Frank. Your name is Big Frank? Yeah, want to make something of it? Uh, no. No, that's okay. A caterpillar is pretty much an eating machine. That's why you usually find them munching on leaves or fruit or vegetables. If you look at this picture of the inside of a caterpillar, you can see that it's mostly just one long belly. That's why they're always very hungry. Om nom 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 nom. Oh, I ate too much. I think I'm gonna pupate. Once a caterpillar has eaten enough food, it's ready to start the next stage of its life. Butterfly caterpillars make a hard protective case called a chrysalis, like these ones, and attach it to a plant or a tree and stay inside until they've changed into an adult butterfly. Different types of moth caterpillars make different types of cocoons like these and change into adult moths inside. In another episode of Going Buggy, we'll talk more about this change and about adult butterflies and moths. Like all insects, a caterpillar has three main body parts, a head, a thorax where its true legs are, and an abdomen where its extra legs called prolegs are. On its head, a caterpillar has mouth parts called mandibles for eating with, and under them, a spinneret that it uses to make silk with. Caterpillars use this silk to bungee jump out of trees, or to make hammocks and tents with, or to spin a chrysalis or cocoon from. Caterpillars also have 12 little eyes on their heads. You'd think with 12 eyes they'd be able to see very well, but they can really only tell the difference between light and dark. The small holes you see along the side of this caterpillar are called spiracles. They suck air in through these holes, which puts oxygen into their blood. That's how they breathe. Okay, so I can see your six real legs there, Earl, and your pro legs too. But, uh, how are you hanging onto that piece of egg carton there? With my butt, of course. With your what? My butt. It's useful for grabbing on a stick some plant stems with. Oh, so you mean when you're hanging onto my hand? Yep, using my butt. Never lets me down. Ah, um, would you mind letting go then? I think I'd like to wash my hands. Make sure you sing happy birthday twice. Uh, yeah, sure, Earl. Okay, okay, enough about that. Why don't you introduce everyone to some beautiful caterpillars they can meet here on Prince Edward Island? Oh, sure, that, that's a good idea. Everyone, this is Gina. She's a Tanucha virginica caterpillar. When she's eaten enough food and stored up enough energy, she'll make a cocoon and change into a beautiful Tanucha virginica moth. She'll have velvety wings, a metallic blue body, and a pretty orange face. All right, make way for the most popular caterpillar on PEI. It's Will the Woolly Bear. You can see woolly bears like me all over the place at the start of spring. That's true. Many woolly bear caterpillars spend the whole winter sleeping under old leaves, so they're some of the first caterpillars awake once the weather warms up. Just like the snow fleas in episode 2, 
Woolly bears have antifreeze in their bodies to stop them from freezing in the cold Canadian winter. And after they pupate, they turn into beautiful Isabella tiger moths like this one. Hey, have you told them how many muscles we got? I was just getting to that. Caterpillars have 4,000 muscles in their bodies. We're totally ripped, bro. It's true. You humans only got 639 muscles. You're wimps compared to us. Just look at me flex. Okay, guys, I get it. You have a lot of muscles. I guess you need them for all that climbing on plants. Anyway, back to the caterpillars of PEI. Well, they do have a point. Just watch this. You think you could do this, human? This takes a lot of core strength. Okay, you can stop that now. Everyone, this is Mac, a spotted tussock moth caterpillar. Mac likes to eat birch, maple, and oak leaves. And when he turns into a moth, he looks like this, a spotted tussock moth. And if you see me, you better not pick me up. My hairs come off and can give you a nasty rash. Okay, thanks. I'll remember that, Mac. Oh, hey, man. Don't forget about us. We're just here chilling in our tents, man. I wasn't going to forget you. Uh, this is a fall webworm. Fall webworms are a kind of caterpillar that use their silk to spin large tents in hardwood trees. All the caterpillars live together in the tree, eating the leaves and growing, until they're nearly ready to change into moths. Although the tents are not very pretty, if the tree is still healthy, then the caterpillars don't really hurt it by eating all those leaves. One interesting thing about webworms is that they wiggle like this if they feel any danger. It's okay, buddy, don't freak out. I'm just doing a lesson about you. Sometimes all the webworms will start to wiggle like this at exactly the same time to scare away predators. It's an amazing thing to see. Another amazing thing is that webworm tents actually trap heat inside, so the caterpillars can stay nice and warm, even if it gets cold outside. One gross thing is that fall webworms just poop inside their tents and don't even clean them out. All those black dots you can see in the caterpillar tents are poop. I really think these guys need to get some flush toilets in there. Fall webworms change into fall webworm moths, which are actually quite pretty as you can see here. Caterpillars have other defenses too, not just wiggling around. A lot of caterpillars eat plants that are poisonous to other animals. One of the most famous is the monarch caterpillar, which eats so much poison milkweed that even after it turns into a monarch butterfly, its body is still full of poison. If a bird or bat tries to eat it, it'll feel very sick. And like Mac told us, caterpillars like him and Will the Woolly Bear and Gina all have hairs that can irritate a predator's skin if they try to pick them up and eat them. Plus, look what happens when I try to pick up Gina. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? I don't like that! She curls into a tight ball. Hey, don't worry. I don't eat caterpillars. By making a ball, caterpillars make it difficult for birds and other animals to swallow them. Other caterpillars, like inchworms, stand straight out and pretend to be a stick if they're worried, hoping nobody will notice them. Hey, uh, Big Frank... That's a fence post you're on. Twigs don't grow on fence posts. They don't? No. Aw, oh, nuts. Last, but not least, is the silver-spotted skipper caterpillar. It makes a leaf hammock for itself to hide in while it eats, and it has a special way to make sure other animals don't sniff out where it is. It can shoot its poop like a bazooka! Since the smell of caterpillar poop might bring birds or other predators to its hideout, it just fires its poo far away from itself. They should really teach those fall webworms how to do that. It'd make those tents nicer to live in. Okay, well I guess that's it for this episode of Going Buggy. Really? You're going to end the lesson on the majestic caterpillar by talking about bazooka poops? What is wrong with you? I don't know, I just thought that was pretty interesting. They can throw their poo 38 times the length of their own body. I think that's kind of cool, I guess.